Another very quick video. Um, yeah, this is the update to the Bandai thing from this morning. Um, they have got back to me. Right. As of this video, the Shark Sword and the Octo Sword will be released sometime between September and Christmas. And then the Light Sword and the uh, Quills or Scorpions or things next year. What kind of fucking marketing logic is that? And just for a note, that as I said earlier, they did have the Optizord on their website and it's been discontinued because they've also put it back to market the fucking Gigazord. Rather than releasing it when they were supposed to with the series that it's with, that it came out with, no, we're going to wait this giant marketing campaign when two of the main parts, two of the parts of it aren't going to be out until fucking nearer Christmas. How's, you know, what sense does that make? But no, we'll stuff the other three auxiliary swords down your throat that are already shell formers. Let's see if they sell better with clear plastic, but you won't. They'll still be fucking shell formers. You have no brains, Bandai. You really fucking don't. And who is it that pays the price? The UK. Because what it means is. We won't get this. We won't get certain stuff because they don't think it sells very well here, which is total bollocks because it's their fucking marketing strategy that's causing it not to sell, not the fact that it doesn't sell in the UK. Fine, so I shall see what happens with the shirt sword. Chances are I'll probably end up going overseas for it now because I'm not going to fuck about trying to find it from now till Christmas. Fucking stupid band, right? And it's the UK that's gonna take it in the fucking ass. Fuck you. This is why it's such a pain in the fucking ass to get certain toys in this country because of shit marketing strategies. the most part anyway ta-ta for now